So worksheet on average value, number three, uh, find the average value of f on the given interval. So the average value, the average height, the y value, all that kind of means the same thing. One over the width times the area, or just the area divided by the width. Tell us the average value. So integral from 0 to pi, 2 sine x minus sine 2x. I really don't want to do that by hand. I think I could if I needed to. But math 9, our friend. 0 to pi, 2 sine x, careful with parentheses, minus sine 2x dx. Came out to 4, that's kind of nice. Although, be careful, I do this all the time on purpose, mainly because I do it all the time on accident, even when I'm not paying attention. Why is 4 not the right answer? Why is 4 not the average value? Because you still have, it's 1, it's the, I overlooked, so. Yeah, basically I haven't divided by pi yet. So I, I put the complicated thing in the calculator, and sometimes if you do that first, and you get so excited that you get an answer, you forget about the fact that you were supposed to divide by pi. Um, so one way to avoid that would be to start by doing 1 divided by pi, and then putting the the integral in. Uh, but a lot of times people type that in and then just hit can you just divide by it, pi. Can you just type in the whole thing? You could type in the whole thing. It would be. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's also sometimes nicer. You get a nicer answer. Like 4 over pi is a, a nice exact answer as opposed to 1.273. But this one didn't specify whether it wanted an exact answer or a rounded answer. So either would, be, would have been OK. Oh, that was part A. Part B, find C such that the average value equals f of C. So that means somewhere 4 over pi equals 2 sine x minus sine 2x. And I don't think I could do that by hand if I wanted to. So I'm going to graph. Two sine x minus sine two x, and really I only care about going from zero to pi because I know my answer should be in there somewhere. Um, I want to know where it's equal to one point two seven. So as long as I'm, as long as one point two seven is in the y window, I should be able to see it. So that's not the full picture, but it's all I care about because it's 0 to pi. And I want to know where that's equal to 4 over pi. So I want to know where those intersect. It looks like I'll have two answers. Um, I mean, if I zoomed out, I probably have an infinite amount of answers because sine, you know, just goes back and forth. But I need to find those two answers. So second calc, intersection, first curve, second curve guess. So 1.238 is one of my answers. And then second, second answer will be the same process. Intersection, first curve, second curve, but I want my guess to be over here at the other one. Uh, I should probably double check to make sure those are both between 0 and pi. They are, but I, I sort of guaranteed that from the get-go when I only looked from 0 to pi. So I knew the, whatever answers I got would be on the window that's OK.
part C, sketch the graph. Eh. There, there's my sketch right there. And a rectangle whose area is the same as the area under the graph of F. Actually, that's, that's, that's the answer to C right there. Sort of accidentally stumbled into that answer. The area under the, the sine curve is equal to the area under the, the bar. I don't know if we've done this, but you can also integrate on the, on the graph. Lower limit, 0. Upper limit, pi. And the advantage of integrating on the graph is that it shades it in and sort of reminds you, hey, we just found the area. Also looks really cool. It also looks cool. So that area is 4. That's what we got earlier, but now it's, it's shaded in. Uh, I suppose we could even integrate the other one, y2 from 0 to pi, shades that in, and that's also equal to 4. Although that's maybe a little misleading because now 4 represents only the rectangular shading, not that top shading. Fun with the calculator to sort of verify our answers. What else from the average value worksheet? Uh, I'm going to leave you to do number four because it's the same steps. Just let the calculator do the work. Just integrate from zero to two of that, that thing. Although that one you could do by hand, but just let the calculator do the work. Can we use the calculator on the test? So on the test, you won't be able to use a calculator. Um, there are two, maybe three questions that say things like, set up but do not solve or do not evaluate uh, an integral that would lead to the average value or something like that. And so if it says that, then you could set that up and that would be your answer. Because without a calculator, you couldn't do that. Well, you could maybe do that one. <laughs>